Hello, friends and neighbors. Tesswiji back, and I checked this time. Twitch is letting me stream properly. Hooray! Another two hours of Out of the Park Baseball 22 coming your way, and I want to quickly loop back to something on the team results. The real-life Oryx Buffaloes, for the second time in franchise history, won the interleague title. Because NPB does interleague all in one go from May through June. They also have somehow climbed into a playoff spot and are above 500. This is atypical for the real life Buffaloes. For our guys, though, are for the course, man. We sit second, three and a half back of the, the Hawks, two ahead of the Lions, and seven ahead of the Nippon Ham Fighters. So feeling confident about this year, but the team's taken a bit of a beating in terms of starting pitching depth. We have Carlos Gomez about to make his season debut because Thad Ward is injured for the entire season and we've lost Shimizu, Honda, and Sakakibara all to various ailments. So depending on how this goes, I may have to pull some other uh, triggers around, especially if Isamu Fukuda continues to not pitch well. I mean, he pitched well last game. Eight innings of two run ball, so maybe that stint down in the minors helped. Fingers crossed. So we're going to skip the first game of this series, and we are going to play the second one. I asked for some uh, scouting reports in between sessions. Ah, he already got signed by someone else. All right. 7-4 win against the Hawks, so Carlos Gomez will be getting his first start of his NPB career on stream today. The reason why the Hawks are doing so well, Diana Gita is back, OPS of 1.128, so he's been uh, making up for lost time. Kure Bayashi at first, I'm basically running him there because Daichi Suzuki and... Uh, Yuma Tongu have not done well. But we'll see how things go in this second game of the set. I'm surprised that we've already taken five of seven from uh, Strike three. SoftBank. Gomez getting things going with a leadoff single. Hello. That's a uh, begin to shift. The 2-2 from Gomez to Ogino here. Down on strikes. Good start to the game so far for uh, Carlos Gomez. And this is the guy we are going to be deep Pitching around. Strikes out the side! How's that for a season debut? Second pitch swinging. Yuki Sato rolled on the ground. That's not going to be any issue for Ogino there. Where's Ukyo Shuto, I wonder? I mean, if anything, that guy profiles as more of a third baseman than second, but... Who am I to say? Kawarada looks like he's a stud for the Hawks. Where did they get this guy? Fourth round of 2020 draft. Umasuda is going to be a pain in the butt. So we'll see how this game goes. Now the meat of our lineup in Masataka Yoshida. And he's going to get on base. First hit of the game for either squad. Suzuki Seiya now full count. Inside ball four. Chance for a timely here. 2-1 from Kepler. Fly ball center field. Yanagita tracking it. Rats. Fly ball giveth and the fly ball taketh. 
We are going to do the deep shift right. Back the power out of Mel Rojas. The 3 1. Low ball four. We're going to do shift right. Hold the runner. On the ground. 5 4 3 double play. Good thing I didn't do a deep shift, otherwise, that would have been trouble. Here's Yanagi Machi, who I've had my eye on for quite a while, but uh, hasn't really come up yet in a trade option. Lofted to left field. Kepler on the move. First bit swinging, Grio Ota. Laces this one to left, but Rojas Jr. is there. Kurebayashi. Four-pitch walk. I'll take that. Tempting to run, but I'm not going to do that. Especially when Sanchez dunks one into left field. Runners at the first and second now. One out. Yeah, we're not running on Takuya Kai. Sorry. They may not be expecting a bunt. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, that's a good bunt. Good sack bunt. Zato now with a chance to score some RBIs. And he's just going to roll to the second baseman, Ogino. RBI? RBIs? Anyways. Gomez seems to be doing all right so far. That one's popped up towards the dugout. And Kurebayashi drops it. The 1 2 to Matsuda. On the ground, Kashiwabara deep in the hole makes a fantastic play. And Carlos Gomez is injured. Ah. Strained back. So we may have to make a trade sooner than later. Uh, we're going to go for an emergency starter in Daichi Takeyasu. Bump him up a day. Strike three. And I may have to make some uh, interesting moves with the, the pen and the starters here. I may have to do a trade, actually. All right, good play by uh, Takayasu coming in. Injury sitch. Okuma over the head of Kawadada. Nice. Uh, let's take a couple pitches, see if they're thinking he's going to... Oh, yeah, they're, they're thinking Okuma's going to be on the move. They're right. Got a good jump. Nice. Swing away here, Masataka. I drive deep to right field. And we did not need to worry about that stolen base. Macho muscles that one into the right field stands. That's one to the Owen Don. Buffs ahead. 2-0. Ah, oh, you love to see it. When everything works, it this team can be dynamite. Strike. Wow, we ticked off Matsumoto. Meat grinder through the heart of the lineup. I can't believe they have Nishikawa DHing. Full count 
from Takayasu. Strike three. Karaburi Sanshin. Uh, lightly left against Ogino here. Lofted, Hashiwabara makes it look so easy. Having that 70 range is a big help. Uh, outfield deep, pitch around. I'm okay with putting him on, as long as he doesn't do any damage with the bat. Shift right. Hold the runner. Off he goes! Safe into second base. Let's just pitch to him. Full count! Called strike three! I remember one game we walked Yanagita like four times. Wow, Masuda can't make the play. Gurebayashi, infield single. We're going to swing away here. And that's going to be a double play. Four, six, three. Yeah. Ashiwabada on the ground. Shortstop to shortstop. Takayasu, 27 pitches. Let's uh, shift right on Masuda here. He's going to pop this one up into left field, though. Kepler on the move. No issue there. 2-1 to Yanage Machi. On the ground, Okuma makes it look easy. Mitsuru Masuda. Ashiwabara up throwing. So through four and a half, buffs lead to... Nothing. Takayasu's looking pretty solid out of the, the pen there. Or at, coming in to, to save our butts. So we'll probably keep running him for another inning or two. Sato puts a charge into this one, but that's going to hang up in time for Rojas to get to it. Okuma, full count. Low ball four. Macho's going to pop this one up into right field. That's not play. That's not deep enough. Nagimachi makes the play. Full count to Seiya Suzuki. Walked him again. Let's, uh, let's take a couple pitches here. Or just one. Full count. Kepler on the ground. 4-3. I mean, at this point, we might as well just keep Takayasu out as long as we can. Strike three. He's dealing all right. Four strikeouts so far. Bring that infield in. A one to Kawarada. Man, oh man. 70 range at shortstop, gang. It does wonders. The 2-2 two -two to Nishikawa. Okuma's there, but he boots it. Or slips out of his hand. First base hit of the game. Let's go weak shift left. Hold the runner, who is off running. We get it. Nice! Sanchez guns him down. Bottom of six now. Ota laces this one into the left field corner. That's going to go for extra bases. Rojas get, does get the ball in, back in quick, though. Rebayashi intentionally walked. Hmm... Do we switch out for Tongu here? Full hitter. Let's swing away here. What's the worst that can happen? They put him on. 
Base is loaded. Here's Kashiwabara. Uh, he's not the greatest bunter, though. Infield's in, though. Gotta think. What are we gonna do? What the hey? Popped up left field. Rojas Jr. tracking back, but it'll be deep enough to score on the sacrifice fly. Shun Yamaguchi coming into the pen, or coming out of the pen. Yuki Sato now. The 2-2. Two -two. Laced into the left field gap. That's going to score at least one run, maybe two. Sato pulls up into second. Close play at home because of Sanchez being a bit of a slow truck. 5 nothing Buffaloes. Take a couple pitches, see what they're thinking. I want Sato steal in third. Nice. Swing away here, Okuma. On the ground, booted by Masuda. Six nothing buffs. When this when this team goes, it goes. Seiya Suzuki, the two two, rolled on the ground. That's a double play. They make this one, but it's six nothing. Takeyasu may actually just keep going at this point. Shift around the 3 2 to Ogino inside ball four. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to bat to Yanagita, aren't we? Yep. Thankfully, our guy was deep enough, and he actually makes the play at the track. Wow. We almost got burnt there quite badly. Shift right, hold the runner. Rojas on the ground. Ota to Okuma to Kurebayashi. We may have to get someone warmed up next inning, but uh, so far, it's been a good game from uh, Takeyasu. Losing Gomez stinks, but that at least means we can at least bring up Justin Wilson again. Urebayashi. So Shun Yamaguchi's having a bit of a control issue. Sanchez has burned them once already. He's going to do it again. Going the other way! Here comes the play at the plate! Safe at home. 7 nothing, Buffaloes. This ain't your daddy's Oryx squad. Something's gotten into them. Runners at the corners now. Here's Yuki Sato again. But Kawadada will just go the short way. Sixty one pitches now for Takeyasu. Top of the eighth, two two to Masuda. Called strike three. Two two to Yanagi Machi. On the ground, just in the grasp of Okuma. Great play. We may have a gold glover on our hands at second base there. Pinch hitter in, Katsuya Kakunaka. The 0-1 from Takayasu. 
Oh, that's laced into the corner base hit. Say Suzuki's up firing. Gonna be a close play at second. Nope. Quick check in on the mound. Let's get someone warmed up just to be safe. Hiromu Ise. Nothing else. He can probably get the ninth inning. 2-1 to Kai. Fly ball behind second or shortstop. And Kashiwabara boots it. Or it just goes over his head. Duck snort single. And it's 7-1. Buffaloes now. The 2-2 two -two to Kawarada. Line right to Kurebayashi. So yeah, we'll let Issei come in and take the ninth. Fresh set of eyes and all that. Macho here, already with a dinger today. He's going to go the opposite direction to pick up his second base hit. Seiya Suzuki. Four pitch walk. Max Kepler with a chance to add a, on a couple. Bases full of Buffaloes. One out. And it's Otario. Rolled to on the ground. They get the, the lead runner. No double play at least. Grebayashi now. That's going to be fair ball. Base hit. Two runs will score, maybe a third. That will be a bases clearing double for Otario. 10 1 buffs. We're going to give Takayasu the rest of the night off. New pitcher in, Hiromu Ise. Try and close this one out. Strikes out Nishikawa. One one to Ogino. Fly ball left field. Kepler on the run makes it. Pitch to him. The O two to Yanagita. Lined into right field. Say Suzuki is there. 10-1 Buffaloes. Oh, this team is hot. If he's only going to be out for a week, though, I'm going to send him down instead of keep him. Justin Wilson's going to come back up and join the bullpen. Julian Fernandez is going to be coming in as an opener meantime. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Uh, Tatsuya Shimizu is going to be coming off the uh, IL tomorrow. We'll just put him straight in. Now, I think we do, yeah, we do still have a roster spot open. Who's been doing well down on the farm that we should call up? We already called up Kenda again. Gonna be... Hmm. Or do we go with the extra bullpen arm? 
Tough call, tough call. You know what, Let, let's give Hirano Yamato a chance again. We sweep the Hawks. Tomiyama pitches a gem. Yoshida making him pay. Today Bayashi can play just about anywhere on the diamond, true. But at least he's finally getting some play time, regardless of where. Alright, we got an extension then. Daichi Suzuki is going to be hanging around for another year. Additional leadership in the the room. Tough loss. Julian Fernandez with a blown save. Iwazaki takes a loss. Oh man, four walks in one inning? Julian, buddy, you're killing me. But Sakaki Bata will be back in a couple days, so let's just keep playing. Are we going to get swept by the Eagles? Ugh. We sweep the Hawks, who are leading the, the league. We get swept by the Eagles. What happened here? Gary and Matsunaga, blown saves. Mizu just having a rough game, and that's good enough to be demoted. Kakibata returns to the rotation. Let's see if Tamao Fujimoto's figured his stuff out. Let's give him a little longer down on the farm. Now let me see. Can we make this trade now or do we give it a little bit longer? Give it another week, because I had a trade in mind, but I'm not sure if I want to pull the trigger just yet. Okay, bit of a slugfest, but we get the win. Born UCL, Takahiro Matsunaga, gone for the year. Well, now we don't have a choice. Fujimoto comes back up. Twelve three. What happened? Oh, Sakaki Bata got joinked around Norihiko Tanaka with a rough game. We may have to fix the bullpen pretty quickly. Buddha's back to being bad. Oh no. Uh, this is the problem with the Buffaloes. You think you got them fixed, but then they go Oryx on you. Well, at least we picked up a, a series win against the Spirit down there in the bottom of the standings. Seven ahead of both the Fighters and Eagles, so we are doing good there. Honda's about ready to start his uh, rehab. Rebayashi's cooling off a bit, but let's keep him at that first base slot for now. Especially since the other options of Fukuda and Daichi Suzuki are also batting like blah. Hiro Maru gone for another two weeks. 
Leia Suzuki picked up a win. Hey! Good to see A. Gotomogi's been, wow, tearing the cover off the ball for the Admirals. Let's do a, let's take a scouting report on Kazuya Ojima, who I've had my eye on. Ditto for, uh, Yuhei Takanashi. I scouted this trade in between sessions that we can get two birds with one stone here. I also want to give it another week, another run through the rotation before I make this move. All right, Scout seems to quite like Takanashi, not so much Ojima. Take a little bit longer, Mr. McNamara. I just want to make sure this guy's the right call before I pull a trigger on him. Yep, he is that good. 4-2 win. I know getting a two-winning hold. Great to see. But let's pull this trade on Monday. See what it'll take to get... Takanashi. Tomi Honda, welcome back to a rehab start. At least we're beating up on the teams we should be beating up on, like the Bears. Carlos Gomez back to normal. But does he come back up to help with the rotation? And I just don't know what's eating Fukuda and Kyoyama. Twelve six over the Bears. Nice. Kaino out for four days. Kidney stones. Ooh. Oh, that smarts. Oh no, Honda's ratings took a dive. Oh, that stinks. Well, he might be a serviceable reliever after all. So we're going to keep Aino off the IL because he's only gone for four days, no harm, no foul. Issei is going to get sent down. Yo Yoshida is going to get the call up. A long relief man. Dead arm Daichi Takeyasu. Well, got the win at least. Lost a series, swept the Bears. Lost a series at Cebu. Two and a half back of the Hawks, though. Uchimoto's starting to get back into the swing of things after his uh, absence. Okay, we're going to have to make some, some tough moves here. Kaino should be back soon. Isamu Fukuda just can't seem to figure it out. We got to demote him.
Try uh, Hiroya Miyagi out in the rotation. Meantime. Oh, how nice. Takayasu and Kaina will be back on the same day. Kyoyama just... Perfectly bog standard. Before... We're playing the fighters. Seven ahead of them. Gotta win the pennant this year. I feel like this is our shot. Alright, having a bit of a June swoon, but all told, not terrible. Aino and Takayasu are back. And Kurebayashi is continuing to bat rough. So we may see uh, Tongu move up and into that DH spot, or to the first base spot. I got an idea. Let's try Yoshida at first. Get Gen in as the DH. Give him a try. This works, I'll feel really clever. We did get a 5 2 win over uh, the Hawks. Goyama picking up a good game, nice to see. Tamo Fujimoto back to himself. Hongu getting a rare start at catcher and moving to first. I want to see the Miyagi start. Let's... Man, we have the Hawks number this year. We're going up against Yuto Furuya, so it's a little lefty-on-lefty -lefty action. So against a lefty, who do we want? Yeah, that seems about right. Again, instead of a Juhei Fukuda who's on a slump. Actually, you know what? We, we've done the Hawks already this stream. With the sweep, though, we could stay in the lead. It looks like we are saving our game. So Yuhei Takanashi doesn't seem like as urgent a need just yet. 7-6, walk-off win, Seiya does it again. Miyagi scuffles through three and two-thirds. Takanibu Matsuda getting a stuff boost, love to see it. Honda still on the 
rehabbed. Yuki freaking Sato, man. Doesn't know how to take a walk to save his life, but four wins above replacement already. Say a Suzuki batter of the month. That's that's what we've got him for. tough to figure out what to do to improve the team. Kota Futaki is on the trading block, though. Not liking that home runs per nine, though. Like, this is a guy who could get his, his face beaten in. Do the Marines want for him? Yeah, you're not getting Sato. Do you got to have anyone worth getting? Kaito Awatsu. Fly ball, oh, one and eight. Decent FIP. They want. Gomez, Kurebayashi, or Okuma. Yeah, not happening. So let's skip ahead to, uh,. Let's take this July 4th game against uh, Rakuten at their place. So, owner likes our work. So Taguchi is going to be getting an extension. Uh, let's go... Go with 95 grand. Three years. Fantastic. Well done, so. Earned it. Hey, two top ten prospects in Gomez and Tato. I'll take that. Ooh. Aoto Nishiguchi getting the call on the fourth game. That'll work for me. I mean, it's a shame that Brockerton eats our lunch. Oh, ate nothing. Never mind. Back to back wins against the Hawks. Okay, so they switched back to Yu Suzuki. Former Buffalo Yu Suzuki, who has turned it around for the, the Eagles. This was in the trade for uh, Mogi that really helped us out last year, so no regrets. You earned it. Takeyasu has been a phenom for us this year. Remember when we couldn't buy him a win back in 2021? He's 6-0 so far. Takaki Bada has been doing great. Honda's rehab stint has been going quite well. Kendai again has been holding down the fort decently as DH. Ah, game got cancelled. All right. We'll have to make that up later. His 
late this year. You know what? We'll play this game against... Uh, well, we'll, we'll see if we can line up for a Miyagi start, but just won't face the Hawks again. Or two, Takayasu takes the win. Remember when I called this episode The Heat Is On? This is why 12 to 6. Oh my. Kepler with a pair of dingers. Justin Wilson dealing the win there. Fujimoto's really come around since his uh, early season struggles. Uh oh. Yeah, we'll take this one against uh, Chiba Latte Marines. Gotta watch for Yasuda and that 400 OBP. Goyama, as usual, gonna be in tight. A lot of lefties in this lineup. Marines are on a four game losing streak. Buffalo's on a seven game win streak. Eight and three against this squad. Off with a start. Break three. Two two to Takabe. Strike three. Down on strikes two. Jeffrey Marte in that huge swing of his. The O two on the ground. Kashiwabada makes it look easy. Ooh, quick play by Yasuda. They were expecting that. And their pitcher is injured after one pitch. Wow. First pitch swinging, Yabuta's out with back spasms. Takahiro Shiomi coming in. Try and take on the rest of this lineup. So they go from a righty to a lefty. And our lineup is more lefty heavy, so they are going to have their hands full. Unexpected bullpen day. Taiki Ohata. Let's let's deep in the outfield a bit. Make sure he doesn't get any power. It's twenty home runs so far. Strike three. I'm gonna miss. We're gonna pitch around uh, Fujiwara here. I'm okay with him going on base. Nishimaki. So, play depth, field shallow, pitch to contact, and hope we get something on the ground. All right, fly ball right field. Say Suzuki tracking back, makes the play, keeps the runner where he is. Taiga Hirasawa. Don't worry about the runner. We got him down. Get nice. oh. aboard with a walk. Goyama does have this tendency to do this. The 2-2 two -two to Yamada. Popped up right field. That will fall in for a base hit. Yamada, his first RBI of the season. Carlos Perez, the catcher now. Just get something on the ground. Or a fly ball to center field. I'm going to be leaning on that pitch to contact button a lot, aren't I? 
Koyama's gonna have one of those days. So credit where credit is due, Xiaomi so far has done a good job limiting our damage. Ota is going to get a stand-up double. Hendai again with a chance to, to do some damage. Up the middle, base hit. Ota's on his horse. He will tie this ball game. Sanchez now. Also up the middle base hit. And Sanchez is doing this. It's a good game. Again holds up at third. We're sort of stuck here. Ashiwabada. Into the gap base hit. Fujiwada up throwing. Sanchez is not going to score. Oh, he will score standing up. Two RBI double for Yonatoshi Kashiwabara. Love it. That's a terrible bunt. And yet he makes it work. Let's see if we can take a... All right, let's take a couple pitches. Double steal. Nice! All right, Okuma. Base hit. The running game does wonders. Two RBI single for Cub. 5-1 buffs. Yoshida's going to get into the hit parade. Okuma's going to go first to third. In there safely. Suzuki Seiya. Goes the other way for a base hit. That will score a run. We have ourselves a bat around inning, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Bat around inning against Shiomi. We've chased him. Fumia Ono came in a while ago. Kepler swings on the first pitch he sees, and will end the inning. Still, I think I feel a little better about Kyoyama's game if we pad him to a five-run lead. I think. I think so. Into the corner, base hit for Yasuda. Lead off double. And Kyoyama's out of the game. Uh brother. Hiroya Miyagi is going to have to try and hold the lead. Sato tracking this one first out. Let's shift left on Marte here. The 1 goes the other way. That will drop in for a base hit, too. Oh, but we get the play at the plate. Seiya with the hose. Guns him down. Pitch around Ohata here. And he's going to bloop this one into foul territory. Ota calls for it, makes the grab. So we're going to have to watch our pitch counts heavily. Miyagi, oh, he's only thrown six pitches, but I was not expecting him to come into this game. We have to call up Hitomi Honda after this one. High fly ball for Ota. Akabe makes the catch. Strike three. I hope Kendai again can finally figure it out. 
you know, like, we have enough corner outfielders with the same batting profile. It'd be nice to have one of them pan out, either him or Ryoto Kita. Here's Fujiwara. Uh, let's bring the outfield deep. Let's pitch around him a bit. All right, second straight walk. Not the right idea. Infield or outfield shallow. Let's go double play depth. Are they thinking bunt? I don't know. Two two. Number on the ground. Sanchez will get the play at first though. Let's go corners in, go pitch by pitch. I think they're going to try for a, a bunt here. Nope, swing and a miss. Bring the infield shallow. Swing and a miss again. Let's turn infield to normal. The O2. Popped into right field. Playable for Suzuki, though. Yeto Yamada. The 1 Lined into right field. Base hit. Strong throw, though. Carlos Perez at the dish now. Got a pitch to him. The 2-2 from Miyagi. Wax off. Shoji Nagano coming in now to take on the buffs in the bottom of the fourth. Dato with a rare leadoff walk. Perez doesn't have the best arm, so let's take a couple pitches and then let's send... Let's... Let's send Sato here. Ooh. He's gonna... That... Ah! Close play. That would have been a double play anyway, so... Marte's a really good defender down at, third, or at first base. They have Suzuki now. Punches this one into right. Playable. Ohata's there. Yagi's hanging in tough. Isanori Yasuda is basically neutered against lefty bats, so let's pitch to contact and see if we can get something on the ground from him. There it is. Yoshida makes it look easy. Takabe, the 2-2, two -two. cut on and missed. Arte now, so let's do, uh, let's shift left a little bit. Press the fielders. Ota comes up firing. Through four and a half, buffs lead 6-1. Ichiro Tamura coming out of the Lotte pen. Kepler gets aboard. First time he's been on base this game. Not the fastest runner, so let's see if we can avoid a double play here. That was an interesting base hit. Maybe some miscommunication. Again, with a chance to blow this one open. High fly ball to the deepest part of center field. Ujiwata's there. Kepler will tag, though, on the play. Let's do it. Squeeze bunt time. So we get scrape out a run. Three. 
and Kashi Wabata strikes out, but we are able to regain the one run back. Taiki Ohata makes me a little worried. But Okuma makes short work of him. I say we actually pitch to Fujiwara this time. Lined into right field for a single. We got a board regardless. Let's go double play depth. Infield shallow. Hold the runner. Come on, Sanchez. Gun him! Dang it. Next pitch swinging past Kashiwabara. Shota Fujiwara is in to score. Oh. Okay. Corners. Our runners at the corners, one out. Pitch to contact and hope we get something on the ground here. That'll work. Four, six, three, double play. Hiroya Miyagi is pitching the game of his life here so far. I don't think I've seen him pitch this well at the Major League level yet. We're going to ride him a little bit, I think. Why not? Taisei Tsurusaki. Ooh. Two walks in the day for Yuki Sato. That's interesting. Okay, outside. Low ball two. Way outside. Let's take a walk. You. Force him to make a pitch. This looks like the, the game Tyler Chatwood just pitched yesterday for the Blue Jays. And that's another walk. Wow, we chased him. <laughs> that was impressive. Guy comes in, walks three batters, and is out of the game. Seiya Suzuki, the full count from Nobuji Matsui. Lined into left field for a base hit. Station to station baseball, everyone moves up 90 feet. 82nd RBI of the year for Seiya Suzuki. I am looking like a genius for that deal. You're not expecting a bunt. Okuma is coming home. Ooh, it looks like they got him. Rats. Otanel, the 2 0. High fly ball deep to center field. Fujiwara is tracking it. That will be a sacrifice fly. Yoshida tagging and scoring. Again now, 3-0 will take a walk to reload the bases. Sanchez popped up center field. Fujiwara makes the catch. 9-1. Buffaloes. At this point, let's just let Miyagi run for it. Looks like he got through the bottom or the top of the seventh just fine. I'm gonna do a quick play for a little bit. Ooh, Kashiwabata lead off double. Or single and stolen base. Wing away, Yuki. Right field, Ohata's there. Kashiwabata unable to tag. There's Cub. Down on strikes. Yoshida now, the 2-2. Two -two. 
Knocked into right field. Going to be a tough play for Ohata, but he makes it down the line. Okay, let, let's... You know what? Yeah, let, let's... He made it through another inning, folks. 80 pitches. Six innings of work. Should we just let him have the rest of the game? We'll watch the ninth, but yeah, let, let's let him have the rest of the game here. And die again. The 0-2. Strike three. Down on strikes. All right, visit the mound. All right, he's he's tiring a bit, so let's get uh, Tanaka warmed up. Three one to Hirasawa. On the ground, Miyagi makes the play himself to get the the first out of the inning. Predict uh, the bunt here. 1-1. One, one. Laced into right field. Not going to be able to get there is Suzuki. RBI double. 9-2. Yeah, we're going to bring in Tanaka now. Good effort. Just couldn't finish it off. Uh, let's get some other D subs in. Hongu comes in to play first. Yuda will take over and left. Good effort by Miyagi. Perez down on strikes. Full count to Yasuda. La popped up right field. Seiya tracking it. Ball game. Heck of a game by Hiroya Miyagi. Six and a third innings, one run ball. He may have earned a continued spot in this lineup. Especially if Kyoyama is... heading on the DL. Honda is going to get the call up. Depending on how bad Takayasu's corn labrum. Oh no. So uh Isamu Fukuda returns to the rotation begrudgingly. This is gonna be a rough rough period. I mean, yeah, we're winning, but we're winning because we're knocking the snot out of the ball. First in <clears throat> Alright, first in runs scored, second in dingers, first in stolen bases, first in runs against. Yamamoto's pitching like a man possessed. Do we have to bring Gomez up at some point? Let's see if uh, Wilson or McGarry get injured. Fernandez having a rough go, though. Okay, he had one bad game against the Fighters where they put five runs up against him in the eighth. That's why his ERA looks so ugly. But it's working, though. The top three RBI guys are all Buffaloes. We may have accidentally built ourselves a Death Star here, friends. 
sweep the spirit at our place. This win streak just keeps going. How many games is that now? 14 in a row! Okay, we're saving mid-month. I'm sorry. Miyagi has turned it around. And to think I was thinking of trading him. Maybe my scout is wrong about him after all. Eight innings of no-run baseball. Kuda comes back. Picks up a win against the Spirit. Four innings of shutout ball. Great to see. Hitomi Honda in his first game back. Five and two-thirds innings. One earned run. All right, so Kendai again is fall falling off a cliff here. We are not going to be our DH anymore. Uh, let's see. That wise. I mean, Kudebayashi is still a decent batter. Let's get uh, Asataka back as our DH. Bring Kudebayashi back into the lineup. Looks like uh, we will have Kyoyama back from his most recent injury. Fifteen in a row. Max Kepler walking it off against Haimataira. And there goes the win streak. They picked up... Yeah, Kaino blew it. For the second blown save, he just had a rough go. Julian Fernandez with a good game, though. See? So with Kyoyama ready to come back. That might be, uh... Fukuda who heads back down. Of course, depending on how Kyoyama fares in his return... That may not last long. I've never seen a player with this kind of a gap between OSA and Head Scout. Is it possible that the Scout is wrong? Uh, ask him to take a second look. Oh, yeah, he's really down on him. But we pick up a win against the Lions. Hitomi Honda scatters five runs but hangs on for dear life. Amao Fujimoto has recovered nicely from his early season struggles. I mean, take a look at these pitching stats. Or, blitz. 7.94 ERA in, his, in April. May comes around, becomes better. July... Win probability added, one. The hottest July on record for this crew. Looks like the Giants went on a bit of a hot streak. We got two games, and then it's the All-Star break. Bad Ward might be back in a couple of weeks. Or, sorry, seven weeks. I will take that. Nine one Yamamoto 
pitching like a boss. We really do have the number of the, uh, the Hawks this year. This is great. Nine and three against the Marines. Twelve and two against the Hawks. Thirteen and one against the Bears. Yeah, like I thought, the Fighters, the Eagles play us closest. But hey, if we win the pennant and uh, <laughs> we're eight games up on the Hawks right now, if we win the pennant, we get uh, a, we skip right into the second round, and we get a one-game head start. Rating block is full of players right now. I mean, the trade deadline should be the end of the month. Goff, Pinder. Aoya Masuda, who has two years on his contract still. Exactly how much of a shutdown bullpen do I want? Uh, he's having a down year, though, so... Not... Kuku injured, Kajitani, torn PCL, girlfriend Yuji Nishino. Bionosuke Higuchi, who is asking for way too much money. Having a rough season at the plate. Fighters want for him. Uh, we found we got found gold here in Zhang Hyok Yu. I mean, we've maxed out on foreigners, but I could see him filling in for Kepler at the end of the season. Then again, Kepler has been beating the snot out of the ball. He's getting his team option activated. My goodness. Move uh, Fukuda in as shortstop as. Actually, no. Let, let's keep him at uh, second base. Has oh has uh, Shuhei finally broken out of his slump? Kind of. But Daichi. Daichi's doing okay. He moves to first. I'll let uh, my manager figure it out between him, Kudebayashi, and Tongu. So let's see who got nom to the all-star team, shall we? So, coming in for the Pacific League, Austin Franklin, our old friend, Jota Imanaga, who just signed with the Fighters for a rather substantial contract. Of course, he gets the nod. Part of me wishes I didn't retract my offer to him, but, I mean, given all the injuries we've had, he had himself a solid season. I, I regret that. Uh, Shunsuke Kasama. Yoshinobu Yamamoto getting the starting spot. He's been having a dominant year this year again. Norihiko Tanaka, one of our prospects at age 23, gets his first all-star nod. First? Yep. 
thanks to that 5-0 record. Yugudu Iwazaki, 28 saves, sub-2 ERA. Who needs Yuki Matsui? He's been fantastic. Ryo Ota gets the starting nod at third base over Shu Masuda. Very similar players, but Ryo's the faster of the two. And he's on pace for a 2020 season. Kepler getting an all-star nod, 18 dingers. Yoshida is going to be making the all-star team. Yuki Sato made it, but not starting. Seiya Suzuki made it, will start. It's been a good season. I mean, 15 wins in a row. Best run differential in the league. But I gotta figure out what to do. I think what I may do is, uh, and I again maybe headed back down. Miners, I'm gonna bring Ryoto Kita up instead. Give us uh, another lefty bench bat. I mean, he's got pretty even splits. See what he can do. Nishiura has not seen much playtime, but that's a good thing, I think. I think I may pull a trade. Pacific League wins six to four. Love to see it. Seiya Suzuki is MVP. Hey, that was a familiar face. Malik Collymore was uh, a member of the Shizuoka Arrows in a previous save. This time around, he's with the Tokyo Yakult Swallows and seems to be doing pretty solid. Good Canadian kid there, eh? Looks like the All-Star game got some great ratings. So, of the Japanese players, you could either add Kota Futaki out of Chiba Latte to help bolster the rotation. They want Kudebayashi, not happening. Or Naoya Masuda to help lock down the bullpen. Yeah, I'm not interested in, in either of those guys. Uh, that said, let's. I remember we were able to get some nibbles on uh, Yoshiyuki Yamakawa, and if we retain 100% of Maki Yamazaki's contract. A lot of names. So Yoshiyuki Yamakawa, top 100 prospect, but he's fragile and really doesn't have much of a role on this team. I mean, he's basically the worst Takao Okuma. A lot of red numbers here. Odai Umetsu, though. Out of Chunichi. How does he look as a starter? 
Pretty decent, actually. So, that may be our play. Oh, never mind. Hello. Fourth round pick from Hanshin, Masaru Sato. Could be a solid stopper option. Wallows are offering Ryosuke Moriwaki, Fragile, nope. Bears are offering their best choices, so let's request a scouting report on Sato Masaru. Let's see if it comes in. That may be the play here, folks. Yeah, he's legitimate. I mean, it's rare that I get my assistant GM agreeing too. But let's see who else we can pick up. Oh man, are they going to let us have Teruaki Sato? Who could we get here? Oyama doesn't have a role on our team with Ota. They want Kepler, Sato, or Suzuki in order to for us to get Takahashi. But Hiroto Saiki. Baba. Ah, uh, my old friend King Kota. Of the three true outcomes guy. Oh, they really are high on him. Don't need another shortstop. Third round pick. I know it's it's stereotypical that the two uh, Kansai teams would trade with each other, but if it works, don't knock it. Go Endo. Profazmar is a third baseman and doesn't really bat that well. But Akiyama here. They want Gen. I know Sato or Wilson. Every time I call Gen up, though, he turns into poop. And his avoid case has gone down. That meant, you know, I'd be okay with including Gen in this deal. Whoa, never mind, not with that contract attached to Takumi. Yeesh. Zumi here seems like an interesting option. And they'd be willing to include him if we included Kendai again. And there's this guy, Toru Nishino, who... Aichi Ishii, another former guy from uh, Shizuoka Arrows franchise. Okay, so that might be the play. Let's get Izumi. So would they take Maki Yamazaki then? The eight contracts. 
No, that doesn't work. We include Gen then. I, I hate cutting bait on Gen, but every single time I've tried to bring him up, he has disappointed. Oh, he's gotten better, though. You know what? Now, Gen, let, let's spare Gen. Who else can do they want instead? Kaino, Sato. Daekyung, Yu. I mean, we did just get him from, uh, the miners, but I also am not too attached to foreign guys. I'm here of you. KBO. Our minor league team. I mean, how does he compare it again? Oh, well, he's a better batter than Gen. He's also a foreigner. Doesn't help me any. Yeah, I'm okay with this. That's trade number one. Masaru Sato reports to the minor league Buffaloes. ASK Izumi will be joining the major league club. Who gets sent down then? Might be Yo yeah. Yoshida's been good, but we need someone like Izumi. Okay, one trade down. I feel like we got. I think we may have swindled Hanji in a bit. I really like the look of a uh, Masaru Sato coming out of the pen. Of course, we also have the heir apparent Kaoru Higashi, who's close to being ready to come up to the majors. So next bullpen arm that gets injured, I guess we're trading him. Well, I thought we were going to be able to get to the end of the season. It looks like we're going a little slower. Oof. Ayakawa stuffed us. Yamamoto almost going the distance, too. Offense just went quiet. One hit from Okuma. We almost got one hit. We got a one hit. Lousy, stinking eagles. Ah, uh, back-to-back losses. Of course. Of course. Mami Guzman's starting to figure his stuff out. Jinnosuke Sato is turning himself around.
Hawks and Lions are still very much in the race. I'm trying to think, which game do we want to tackle next? I notice I'm, we're close to almost finished the session today. Honda had a rough go, but Omiyama pitched well. Oyama picking up a win. And to think I almost traded away Hiroya Miyagi. Shut out the spirit. Love it. I mean, you really could not have picked a better time to go on... You know, to build a Death Star, then, in an expansion year. When you have two teams to beat the ever-loving snuffing out of. Uh-oh. Kepler injured. They are uh, getting roughed up a bit. Hopefully it's nothing serious for Kepler. Six weeks. So, we got a foreign slot. Man, it would have been nice to have had uh, that Hyun Jun fellow to come up. Henda again is going to be joining the team as a left fielder. Although we probably will see Nishiura and Kita frequently make appearances. Daichi Suzuki can also step in as a left fielder if need be. We also have room in the rotation for a foreign player. So is this where... Actually, you know what? No, Let let's... Keep the guys we got. Thad Ward's going to be back in four weeks, so he may take that uh, spot in the starting rotation. Yeah, let's play this one at uh, MetLife Dome. Yoto Kita getting the start and left today. YY on the bump against Kona Takahashi, so ace v ace. Could be a fun one. They got their mighty infield defense and not a lot of good outfield defense, so make of that what you will. And the Lions always play us tough, so... Ooh, leadoff single, maybe leadoff double for Yuki Sato. I will take that. Take a couple pitches and see if, uh... Can't... Steal a base. I trust Sato's instincts out there. Off and running! Great. Okuma on the ground. That will score a run. Manufacturing runs out there. A meat grinder. Great view of the foul pole there.
Full count from Yamamoto to Sosuke Genda. Strike three. Got him. All right, Muddy, the pull hitter, 2-2. Two, two. On the ground, Yamamoto will make not make the play in time. Infield hit for Tomoya Mori. Hito Asamura now. Pull the runner. And it's a walk. The 1 0 to Yamamura. On the ground past Kudebayashi. That's going to be trouble. One out double. But injury replacement Shoji Tamura now. Green pull, so we're going to go hard shift left. Let's go infield in shift left. Pitch around him a bit. Strike three. You. We have the open base, so let's pitch around him a bit. Wing and a miss. So Yomar Reyes comes in to play third base, replacing the injured uh, Yamamura. Konosaki with a rare fumble. Well, 14 errors so far, so maybe he is a little more error prone than I thought. What's up with Yamamura? Strain hamstring. Oh, that's going to ruin the Lions' day. Good day, Bayashi. Lines this one to left. Base hit. Runners at first and second now. Yoto Kita. 2 2. On the ground, but no play at first or, or at second. Yoto with a sacrifice. That's a sky high bunt. And we get doubled off. That was a bit of a, a blunder on my part. Love to have that one back. 2 2 to Nishikawa. Strike three. Down on strikes. Konosaki now. On the ground, Okuma there. Two away. Matthew Fraser. The one, two. Strike three. Down on strikes. How many hurt lions are there, I wonder? Poor guys. And Jolly Roger, that really was. Oh, hit by pitch. I'll take that. Okay, they're thinking Kashiwabata is going to be on the move. Sato, be impatient. I pitch walk. I'm feeling frisky. Let, let's see if we can get a double steal going. Of course, then again, he has to throw a, a, a strike. So far, he isn't. That's two straight walks now. Base is full of buffaloes. And it's Masataka Yoshida. Popped up behind the second base. Genda's there. Infield fly. Bah! Suzuki Seiya with a chance to blow the game open. 
On the ground, five, four, three double play. Rats! Hooray! We pulled a noble tiger! How did we blunder that? We gotta give Yamamoto some support here, guys. Come on. 2 and Otomori. On the ground, Okuma in the shift with in just the right place and time. Deep in the outfield. Pitch around Asamura a bit. Strike three. Got him. Ota go lines one deep to Frazier. Here's Kude Bayashi now. Rolled on the ground. Genda is going to make this one look easy. Kita. 3-1. And he's going to go up the middle for a base hit. Ali Sanchez now failed to get the bunt down. Instead, this is going to be... A ground out. Still 1-1. One, one. Yamamoto's throwing 56 pitches here in the bottom of the fourth. Yomar Reyes. Goes the other way. Going to be a bit of a run for Seiya, but he makes it. Full count to Kento Watanabe. One out walk. So weak shift right. You can get a, something on the ground. Or just a strikeout. Eight so far for Yamamoto. Full count. Laced into the right down the right field line. And it gets past Suzuki! Oh no. Second and third. Yuta Tonosaki. Pitch around him because we got an open bag. Alright, Yamamoto's in a bit of trouble. Uh, let's bring the infield outfield in. Go deep shift right. 1-0. On the ground, Kashiwabada can't come up with it. Kosuke Genda goes the other way, but G Kita is there. So we're down a run. We're going to need to get someone going... Get McGarry prepped. Watches a curveball. Sato puts this one into the opposite field for a one out single. Okuma lofts this one to left field. Ishikawa is there. Yoshida goes up the middle for a one out si for a two out single. Yuki Sato going first to third. They uh, Suzuki down on strikes. Execution guys, execution. Good play by Kure Bayashi there. On the ground, Yamamoto, make the play. So Yamamoto's gonna go through five innings. Struggled of a game, man. Popped up. Stay is there. So we'll get McGarry in for the 
Bottom of the sixth. Nice to get something going. Takaha uh, Kona Takahashi's been done well. Oof. Let's let Kita take a couple looks there. Oh, stop trying to pick him off. They are really worried about Kudebayashi's speed on the base paths. Swing away. Two, two. Strike three. Call strike three. Kita may not be uh, long for the lineup at this point. Okay, we're going to have to plunk one of their guys. At this point. Ooh, through for a base hit. Kashi Wabada with a one-out double, or with a two-out double. Long throw. That was a triple? All right, buffs ahead. You know, sometimes the best revenge is winning the game instead of plunking the opposition. There we go. That's a two-run lead. Thank you, Yuki. Okuma, right to the center fielder. Let's get McGarry in there. We'll give uh, Ita another run through the lineup before we swap him for Nishiyuta at this point. And McClanahan popped up center field. That drops in for us one out single. Anaya Nishikawa. We got a ground baller up. But let's pitch to contact and see if we can get a double play here. Or just a fly ball into center. That works too. Full count to Tonosaki. Called strike three. Gary pitching like a boss. Get Fujimoto warmed up for the, the seventh. Yoshida lofts a leadoff single. Boys keep swinging. Seiya goes the opposite way for a into the gap for a double. That's extra bases. That's going to be a run scored. Oh, nope. Just runners at the corners. A run to second, third, one out. No, we're not going to bunt here. Put the infield in. I still don't trust our guys to bunt properly. All right. Run. Yoshida trying to advance, and he's gunned down. Ah. That stunk. Wing and a miss from McGarry. Now let's keep Keita out there one more inning. On the ground, Okuma. Nicely done. And we're going to go to Fujimoto... Probably after this, last batter for uh, McGarry here. 2-1 to Mori. Popped up right field. Seiya is there. Good, good play. All right. Ita. Take a four-pitch walk. 
Let's uh, do a pinch runner here. Ishiyuda gets some speed on the base paths. Expecting him to run. Yasuaki Yamasaki comes into the game now. And Ali Sanchez will dunk a single into center field. Yeah, we're going to go for the bunt. Ooh, almost makes it. We're expecting... Yeah, we're going to swing away here. Sato's going to punch this one into right field. Little looper, base hit, and another run scores. Full count to Okuma. Strike three. Down on strikes. Yoshida now. Strike three. Down on strikes. But we get another run. Yura will come in and play left field. Fujimoto will come in and replace Seth McGarry. Good play by Seiya Suzuki there. Yomar Reyes now. Get the shift on him. The 2-2 from Fujimoto. Karaburi Sanshin. Kengo Watanabe having a bit of a rough game so far. Rough season so far. Strike three. Called strike three at 99 miles an hour. Love it. Fujimoto at 20 pitches. So we're going to go to... We're going to go to Julian Fernandez. To close this one out. Iwazaki will be just in case. That's going to be a tough play for Genda. He makes it. Ota lofts this one into left field for a one-out single. 12 hits. This reminds me of the... The Buffaloes of yes of last year, where we just got a lot of hits, but none of them were extra bases or couldn't string enough of them together in a row. And never mind, Kurebayashi sends one into the stands. We'll still keep Fernandez in for the uh, the last game or the last inning because might as well. Yeah, he's ready to go. I was hoping Kurebayashi would turn into something decent, and it looks like he has. Alright, so... Fujimoto out. Julian Fernandez in. Rough season so far for Julian. Yeah, I'm okay with nicking one of their guys. I mean, they did that to us. Weak shift right. Pitch to contact here. Fly ball center field. Tato makes the play. Sato on the run again. This one's going to the track, and it'll stay in the ballpark. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be using pitch to contact as much. <laughs> uh, a weak shift right. Pitch to him. Popped up, or fly ball. Right center. Sato gets all three outs. Buffs win it again.
You'll love to see it. So we're at about two hours of the stream sesh. I'm going to finish up this series. Or we'll finish up this series. Man, the lines just play us so close. Swept the fighters, including a 13-inning game. Yamato Hirano coming up big. And losing Kepler stinks. Did we call Gomez back up? I mean, he pitched well. Or do we bring Fukuda back up? Because Hitomi Honda is having a rough go. Uh, you know what? I'll figure this out later. August 19th. Also 10 and a half up in the Pacific League pennant race. Got a couple home games, and then a, we got a double header and a four game set at Rocketen. You know what? Let's just finish the month. Let's do that. That way, our next stream will be September and hopefully the postseason. Hopefully, no more injuries, please. So Okuma, four days strain back. Yeah, we're going to bench him. So we'll see Shuhei Fukuda or Daichi Suzuki come in to play second for a little bit. Kudebayashi's hanging in there. Left field is still a bit of a gong show, though. So who do we, who do we play there? Might be Nishi Uda. Actually, I know who needs to play there. Okuda is back. But we're going to keep him. as a batter this time. Keep Miyagi in uh, the rotation. But Nishiyuda's gonna show up and left. We'll see how Isamu Fukuda does. Got a four game set against Rakuten coming up. There are three teams above five, below 500 in the Pacific League. All right, so it looks like we. We got a series win? Oh, we split the series. Okay. Fine by me. We're going to lose our pace in the uh, home run race at this rate. You know what? We're going to see Fukuda play more and left. 
Give him till the end of the month. The bears have already been eliminated out of the postseason hunt. You poor souls. Spirits have been eliminated. We have the top three batting averages in the entire league, I would like to point out. Wahahahaha. <laughs> And we should be getting Thad Ward back soon, too. Inosuke Sato looks like he's doing great. Ani Guzman maybe getting a call up next season. Kamo Fujimoto continuing to develop into a stud reliever. Yoshida, top batter in August. Beat the Spirit 7-4, beat the Spirit 6-5. Koyama evening his record at 7-7. Seven seven. Honda's done well. Tomiyama's been a revelation this season, actually. And Isamu Fukuda may have just locked up the left field role until Max Kepler is back. Where the heck was this? Like, Kendai Gen Who? Alright, we're gonna play one last... Nah, you know what? We'll just let the Sim take care of this one. 5-4 win. Bullpen holds on for dear life. Miyagi with his fourth win of the season. My scout will never admit that he's wrong about Miyagi, but... I had this guy hanging around on my farm team for too long. And now, I feel comfortable putting him in, in the rotation. If anything, Kyoyama may be the one headed down to the, the miners. Now, Fukuda just... I will give him another shot next season, but he may end up getting converted to a full-time fielder at this pace. But I think that will about do it for this session. Thanks for tagging along. Look forward to finishing up the season. I'm not sure if I'm going to do Sunday or if we're going to wait till Wednesday but uh, we may be adding to the pennant allotment here in at the Kyoseta Dome. May need to make room in the rafters. Till then, Fire H, take us out. Mm -hmm.